हेलो स्टूडेंट्स मैसेल डॉक्टर कृष्णा एन गायकवाड़ असोसिएट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ टैक्सोनॉमी ऑफ एंजियोस्पम इन दैट टॉपिक वी हैव स्टडीड व्हाट आर द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिस्टमेटिक्स and taxonomy concept of systematics after that we have studied artificial and uh, natural classifying system as per our syllabus there are three systems are there artificial system natural classifying system phylogenetic classifying system and apg classification systems out of that we have completed artificial and natural classification system in this topic we have to study remaining both systems phylogenetic classification system and apg system now let us start phylogenetic classification system phylogenetic system which is proposed by adolf engler and karl prantl both are german botanists published a new system of classification in their monumental work entitled by die nature like in tangent family he published total Twenty volumes in between the period eighteen eighty seven and eighteen ninety nine. The meaning of this book is nothing but the identification of genera of entire kingdom. In these twenty volumes of book, they have classified the entire plant kingdom, starting from <coughs> algae up to the angiosperm. Engler and Prandtl system is based on enhancement or Bentham and Hooker classification systems. Bentham and Hooker's classification system is one of the example of natural classification system, which is based on natural affinities and differences between the plant group. the angiospermic families were arranged by engler and prandtl according to the increasing complexity of the flower fruit and seed development now this system of engler and prandtl is very popular in european countries now let's see some general features characteristic features of phylogenetic classification system first one it is very later system then on micro scale that is cell level based on darwin's origin of species which is published in 1859 after the death of darwin his son in law published this book origin of species and the systems which are proposed by different botanists are also called post darwinian classification systems or they are also called phylogenetic classification systems these systems first of all introduced by august william ischler in 1883 all the systems are based on evolutionary descent of its members according to the system it is believed that every species come from evolutionary changes these are the some characteristic features of all phylogenetic classification systems now these are some examples of classification systems first of all ischler published this life span period 1839 to 1889 then another second best example Adolf Engler and Karl Prandtl 
देन थर्ड वन बेसे नेक्स्ट वन हाचिन्सन तक्ताजान क्रॉन्किश थोर एंड लास्ट वन रिसेंट एपीजी The long form of APG is angiosperm <coughs> phylogeny group system, which was published in these three periods. Now these are some examples of phylogenetic classification systems. Now let us see outline classification of angular and parental. Angular and parental system he gives the division embryo phyta, that is cyponogamy, cyponogamma. That means it is also called by another scientist spermatophyta or the phanerogams. That means the flowering plant. That's why they give the name embryophyta. Now this division embryophyta is divided into two subgroups that is gymnospermic and angiospermic. Before the classification of angular and frontal, one of the example we have seen Bentham and Hooker. Bentham and Hooker place gymnosperm in between the dicot and monocot. But after the Darwin's theory, or in all phylogenetic classic system, they completely separate this group in this manner. That means angiosperm and gymnosperms are separate. Gymnospermy <coughs> means the naked seeded plants in which there is no fruit formation. Now, second group, angiosperm. Angios means conceal and sperma means seeds. Fruits are there and within fruits you will get the seeds. That means ovules are enclosed by the ori. This is the meaning of angiosperm. Now angler and parental divided angiosperm on the basis of the number of cotyledons into two classes. These classes are nothing but the first of all monocotyledony in which the seeds with only one cotyledon. He divided monocotyledony in 14 orders and dicotyledony means the seed with or embryo with two cotyledon includes 44 orders. Now this dicotyledon class is divided again on the basis of a petali or sympetali. They give the name archiclamidae and metaclamidae. Now there are some reasons are here, Archiclamidemi a petali, Corolla polypetalus, Perian single or double and he divided Archiclamidae under 33 orders which are includes 201 families. This is the major group of Archiclamidae of Dicotidon. Second subclass Metaclamidae. It is also called sympetali. Now this sympetali is having corolla gamopetalus. Gamo means united, petals mean petals. When the petals are fused in the flower, they are called gamopetalus condition. If the perianth is present, it becomes shows arranged in two holes. Individual of perianth is called tepal. And angular and frontal classified sympetally into 11 orders and 57 families. Now, this is the outline classification of Adolf Engler and Carl Frontal. Now, let us see some characteristic feature additional of Engler and Frontal systems of classification. Engler and Frontal are names associated with the system published in 1886. Like Bentham and Hooker, he conceived the idea of providing the details of his taxonomic system. It is often claimed that this was the first of the phylogenetic classification system. Engler and Prandtl system is widely followed in European countries and in some parts of United States also. And in our country, it is followed for theoretical knowledge and for practical purposes we use the one of the example of natural classification system by Bentham and Hooker because it is very easy and easy to understand. Many herbaria 
throughout the world arrange their specimens according to the this system angular and class, frontal clasping system there are so many herbaria in the world in our country in bangalore bombay delhi madras there are so herbaria is there and all the herbaria are arranged according to the system angular and frontal sequences angular looked upon the monocots as a primitive group and put them first in the list we have seen the outline in outline angiosperm is classified into two classes that is monocotyledony and dicotyledony but he placed primitive as monocots and advanced group that is the dicot so this arrangement start with monocot families angular system is more important because it aims to arrange the plants with an usually bias picking broadly the following differences are noticed between the system of angular and frontal and that of bentham and hooker in the system of angular and frontal dicotyledons are divided <coughs> into archiclamidy and the sympetally or metaclamidy the monoclamidous families were amalgamated with the polypetaly to produce the archiclamidy sympetaly correspond to bentham and hooker's gametopetaly bentham and hooker classification is divided dicot into gametopetaly polypetaly apetaly among the archiclamidy they place the naked flowers and then pass on to those with sepaloid perianth sepaloid perianth means when the perianth are green that's why there is a the word sepaloid they like to the sepals that mean tepals are green angular and frontal system totally contain 14 major divisions the first 13 divisions include the algae fungi bryophytes and pteridophytes these four groups belong to the cryptogames algae fungi bryophytes shows the thallard plant body and pteridophytes show the higher plant body which is differentiated into root stem and leaves but all these four groups are non flowering that is the belong to the cryptogames the 14th division that is embryophyta saponogamma divided into gymnospermy and angiospermy or gymnosperm and angiosperm they separate the gymnosperm from angiosperm this is the best merit of this systems because this is a separate group in which there is no fruit formation here you will get the fruit formation in angiosperm if the system is considered to be phylogenetic it is to be understood that the monocots are stand as a primitive group than the dicot because dicot plant as per the angular and frontal they show the evolutionary characters they show the advanced characters angular and frontal divided monocots into 11 orders in which the pami were elevated into on order dicotyledony class were totally put in 44 orders 33 in archiclamidy and 11 in sympetaly and cucurbitaceae is elevated to an order cucurbitales now this diagram shows the magnelopsida and liliopsida and their evolution the classes that means at the top you will get the highly evolved plants in this figure also there is a highly evolved rosidae asteridae gingivalidae and liliidae they are the highly all and these are the primitive classes now let us see what are the merits and the merits of angular and frontal system of classification now let us see first of all the merits what are the merits i told you that it is a phylogenetic system plant groups are arranged according to their evolutionary affinities primitive groups followed by advanced this is the best 